She was inside Zorba's Coney Island in the early hours of New Year's Day when the unthinkable happened. You can see there a speeding SUV slammed into the building, wiping out everything and everyone in its way. Tonight, a woman who was inside when all this happened is sharing her story. Victor Williams spoke to her today. Victor is amazing. Nobody was seriously hurt. Absolutely. It is nothing short of a miracle that no one sustained any major injuries inside this building after this SUV came crashing through. It's no telling how long the building is going to be under construction. As you can see, this area of the building is now boarded up. One woman directly in the pathway of that vehicle says she's lucky to be alive. I'm sore. I'm real sore. 20 year old Marnesha Bracey says it's the last thing she expected to happen standing in line at Zorba's Coney Island over the weekend. An out of control SUV crashing through the side of the building. And I just heard a boom. The, the bricks was falling over me. I didn't even know a car had ran into there. I thought the building was collapsing. And then when I looked up, I seen my daddy like over me yelling my name, trying to get the bricks and stuff off of me. Another angle shows just how powerful the impact was. One young man is suddenly plowed from one side of the wall. Yeah, I just um, wish he had turned himself in, you know, because somebody could have really died there, you know what I'm saying? The whole situation is just traumatic. Surprisingly know? enough, cameras on the outside show what exactly happened after the crash. The driver and the passenger exit the vehicle, and after some scolding, the driver hides behind a dumpster before the female passenger takes the wheel, picks up the man, and takes off. I don't know how you could do that, like... You ruin the establishment, you hit people, left them for dead. Like, you didn't know what, what happened, what was going on. You didn't care, nothing. And although her life was spared, she still sustained several injuries. I'm also having problems with my back and my shoulders. One thing is sure, however, Marnesha will never look at Coney Islands the same again after yet another incident taking place in her life. My brother died in 2020 leaving Roberts Coney Island. So it was really traumatic for us. Like we didn't know what was going to happen with me. I didn't know if it was my time or not. And even though this information is not being released, police have identified the two that were inside of the SUV. So if you guys know by any chance uh, where the location of that vehicle is, police, they want to hear from you. Victor Williams. Local that family. video is just remarkable that nobody was hurt any worse than they were. Uh, uh, Victor, you said this young woman has had a bad past with Coney Islands. Well, what else has happened? Well, we heard about what happened to her brother some time ago, but we're told that just six months ago she was robbed while leaving another Coney Island in Detroit as well. Oh my goodness. Horrible. Yeah. Okay, Victor, thanks.